What's up guys? It is me Cyrus. Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at three games. The Virtual On games for the Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, and the release that was put out on uh, Xbox 360, uh, and I think it was also on PS3. It's an arcade adaptation with some enhancements. So we're just going to look at these three games, because I think this is a pretty fascinating uh series virtual on is sort of like robot combat uh one-on-one -on -one. um it's uh it's not so not really what i would consider a fighting game just sort of a versus like with robots going at it with each other i don't know <laughs> it's it's a fighting game sure but it's not like a uh, martial arts fighting game okay so let's check it out here so there are some options here on the uh, Sega Saturn version. So we can take a look at some of that stuff. And quite a bit of stuff you can configure however you choose to do it. Split the screen different ways. That's pretty cool. We're just playing with the standard D-pad, not any kind of special stick. Although this does support the twin sticks, um, which I think is only available in Japan. I have to double check that. Let me check. Hang on. Okay, you can see here on RetroStuff.org, they do have the twin sticks here, and it looks like they're only uh, released in Japan. Uh, that's what you got uh, if, if you were to buy one of these devices. Literally twin sticks. There's a few games that support it. You can see them listed here. I think there might be some other ones, but that's what they have listed there. So if you're curious about it, that's what that looks like. All right, all right, back to the game. Like I said, we're just using the standard D-pad. Here we go. And this is being captured from my Japanese Sega Saturn, uh, just with the uh, S-Video. We're using the S-Video as the source. Okay, lots of different robots. We'll try the green one. And this video, the purpose of this video is just to get a quick glance at each of these versions of the game. This is not a deep dive or anything like that. Oh boy. Obviously, this would be a lot better with the twin sticks, for sure. There we go. I was trying to figure out how to turn. Ah, not too bad for not really knowing what I'm doing. Graphics, as you can see, are pretty good. Very smooth frame rate. You can see the full map. Uh, if you're curious about how to turn with the analog, you hold down either the L or the R shoulder to turn in the respective direction. Does this game work with the 3D controller? That's a good question. Does it work with the Sega Saturn 
analog 3D controller? Well, let's find out. Round one. Get ready. Okay, I switched over to the 3D controller and let's switch it to analog mode. And let's see what happens. Nothing. It will not unpause. Let me switch it back to digital mode and see if it works. Yeah, it works on digital mode. All right, let me see if I can switch during the game. No, it won't work. Okay, so no support for the Sega Saturn analog 3D controller. That's too bad. That might be worth investing in a twin sticks. There are several Saturn games that support it, like I said before. Oh boy, he's whooping me. Come on. Oh. Nice. Wow, that worked pretty good. The load times aren't too bad either. Round one. Get ready. Come on. Oh man, I got turned around. Round two. Get ready. I'm slowly figuring out these controls. There's a. See, I couldn't figure out how to go up in the sky, how to boost up like that. Oh, no. All right, well, that's how easy it is to lose. We'll let this play out and then I'll show you something else real quick on here. I always thought Virtual On was the coolest looking game. I, I would see this on the videos and the stores for the Sega Saturn and I was like, oh man, this looks cool. And I just never bought it back in the day, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, you know, for a Saturn interpretation of this arcade game, it's pretty amazing. That is my savior. All right. Now you can come down here. It's pretty cool. They give you options to like watch the matches and stuff too. Cause you can learn a lot just by watching. And it's also really cool. Of course, there's nothing here to watch because there's nothing saved, but you can save your replays and watch them there. All right, 
right, we're gonna try this guy. And after this one, we'll check out the Dreamcast version. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much how this is. I mean, obviously I want to spend a lot more time on this game and play this and I could probably do like a whole stream on just this game right here. But we're just taking a quick look at the at the uh, different versions. So we're gonna look at the Dreamcast version next. Okay, let's look at the Dreamcast one. Okay, now here is the Dreamcast version, which is based on Cyber Troopers Virtual on Ontario Tangram. It's actually a completely different game. There's, there were several Virtual On games. Uh, in fact, the one that we just looked at for the Saturn actually had a PC version, believe it or not. It was in the arcade, there was a PC version, and there was a Saturn version. Uh, this one was um, released for the Dreamcast, and then later was re-released uh, for the Xbox 360, which is the other one that we're going to look at after this. There was a couple more beyond the ones that we're looking at, but this is as far as we're going. This one and one more. So as you can see, there's a considerable upgrade getting to the Dreamcast version. This is running on my actual Dreamcast and uh, it's being output through a Kaiko <coughs> excuse me, a Kaiko adapter which adapts the VGA output to a 640x480 HDMI signal which is why it looks pretty damn good. Uh, Rumble does work on this game if you have a Rumble pack for your Dreamcast which I do. And it does display some stuff on the VMU screen. But as you can see here, just looking at it, I mean, yeah, graphics are much, much better. Let's check it out. Let's jump in and play some of this. Uh, by the way, this game also supports twin sticks. There's a twin stick, uh, adapt, a twin stick um, controller for the Dreamcast if you buy that. But, uh, yeah. We're just using a regular Dreamcast controller. Your 
several options, obviously, which is awesome. We're going to go with that one. Man, isn't the Dreamcast awesome? <laughs> every time, like almost every Dreamcast game I play is just brilliant looking. They they almost all have like 60 frames per second and like super detailed graphics. Okay, I got to figure out what I'm doing here. How do I turn? Let's see if we can see. Okay, control type. Let's just exit and I'll check the controls, which is what I should have done before I started playing. All right. Da, da, da. Let's see. Options. Game settings, device settings. There we go. Okay. Left turbo is. X, right turbo is B, special jump, up and down, jump is Y, crouch is, okay. Wow, okay. All right, yep, turbo, uh, vibration is working. Okay, what, let me look at the other methods just to see what the other, oh, those have got D-pad stuff in it. That could be complicated. Yeah, we don't want to do D-pad if we don't have to. Rotate. Aha. Uh -huh. That might work better, actually. That one might work better. Let me take another look here. No, that also has rotate like that. All right, we'll try it. We'll just try it like that and see how it goes. Take two. Okay. Oh, okay. I do need to use the D-pad. Wow, this is this is wild. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, I mean, the graphics are brilliant, but I don't know about these controls. Wow. Might really need to have that uh, dual stick, <clears throat> dual stick controller. Slowly getting used to it. This is a game you're gonna have to absolutely get used to learn how to play it correctly. Oof, that was not good.
All right, so there's different modes we want to take a quick look at real quick. I'll come back and do videos on each of these games separately, but right now we're just doing a very quick look. Uh, there's a watch mode. That's pretty cool. So you can just pit two robots against each other. All right, and it's pretty awesome, like I said, but let's, we got one more game that we're gonna look at, and it's an upgraded version of this, and uh, it's for the Xbox 360, and I'm gonna be running it on my Xbox Series S. So, let's take a look at that. All right, here we go. Dreamcast version, like I said. And there's a lot of options for this, even more than previously. But thankfully, we have two sticks, so it should make controlling this a lot easier. Let's take a look at that. Controls. Yeah, you see? That's going to be a lot better. Left weapon, right weapon. Left turbo, <clears throat> right turbo jump okay let's give it a shot yeah you can see these graphics are improved quite a bit stick with that one that we were using before <clears throat> you got to give the Dreamcast credit though I mean these are improved graphics but the Dreamcast one does look really good
Yeah. Kinda got an achievement for that. First win, how about that? <laughs> All right. I just picked this game up like for four dollars, I think, or something like that. Damn it. Get over there. Yeah, I got a long way to go before I get good at this. close. I just won because time ran out. I wonder if I can change my controls to something that makes more sense. Twin stick type A. Let's see what that does. Well, that's not helping. <laughs> sticking with that. I don't know. I just got to get used to it. All right, we'll try it one more time. Let's try a different robot. Let's try this guy. controls are not exactly what you would think they would be like with twin sticks the way you might be normally like used to playing a twin stick game so it's a little different keeps getting behind me I 
I like games where you're in robots fighting each other. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I like some of those kind of games that other people don't like at all. Like, uh, I don't know if you ever played uh, Black Hole Assault or um, there was a couple of those kind of games on the Genesis and then on the PlayStation. Rise Resurrection was another one. can't think of the name of there's there's one that my brother got that I actually really liked heavy nova yeah on the genesis it has really cool music and uh the graphics are pretty cool the game is difficult and kind of quonk like wonky but i still enjoy these types of games and i'm getting my ass kicked right now but it's all right i i'm i have barely played this game so i got a long way to go but we'll take a look at uh, some of the different modes and see what this game has going on. There we go. Let's get past that. We'll take a look at some of the other stuff. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Oh, look, you can change your colors. How about that? Hit select. We'll play one round with this guy, and then I'll check out a different mode or something. Oh, hell yeah. Come on. Where are you going? I'm doing good with this guy. Nice. Boom. Perfect. You win! Perfect! This guy runs all over the place. Damn it. Ah, oh, you got me. All right, let me back up to that first menu. Yeah, here we go. So there's multiplayer training. You can do observer and watch like you could on that first one. A bunch of good stuff there. And quite a few settings. Upgraded graphics. So you can actually disable that and take it down to the same quality as the uh, uh, Dreamcast. There we go. I'm turned on. I don't know. Did I not even have the upgraded graphics on? Ooh. <laughs> it already looked upgraded. Well, let's see if it looks better with the upgraded graphics. And we'll observe while we're doing that.
it's fun to look at. It's fun to play. I, it'll be funner when I get the uh, controls down a little bit better. But it's definitely beautiful to look at. One more. We'll go ahead and stop here guys uh, like I said I'll do individual videos on each of these games so you can check them out but uh, this went a little bit longer than I thought it would so that's uh, three different virtual on games I think all of them are pretty cool and they all have their own uniqueness to them obviously the graphics get better as you go but I even like the Saturn one I think it's freaking badass all right I'll let it run for one more little session here and then we'll wrap things up so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time